Hello? Today, I'll guide you through creating a loop structure in N8N. We'll build a workflow that iterates over a list of items and processes them one by one. To start, we need a code node to generate a list of items for iteration. Let's create that code node. I'll remove the default node here to make space for our code node. In the code node, we'll write a script to return a list of items. Let's save this node now. Now, we'll add a loop over items node to iterate through the list. Here it is. Let me remove any unnecessary nodes and configure our workflow to include custom functionality. Next, we'll add another code node to print each item as we loop through the list. In this new code node, I'll remove the default console log statement as we want to customize the output. We need to include a return statement in the code node to ensure the output is properly passed to the next node. Without it, N8N might throw an error. Let's connect the loop over items node to the code node so it iterates over each item in the list. This will make the loop processes one item at a time. Now we'll run the workflow to test it. The loop should iterate through the list and print each item individually. As you can see, the output shows only the last item in the iteration. This happens because the logs are overwritten in rapid succession. To make the process clearer, I'll add a wait node to slow down the iteration. I'll add a wait node with a one second delay after each iteration. Let's save the workflow and run it again. Now, you can see the items being processed one by one with a brief pause between each. If we check the output, the last item appears in the log, but earlier items are visible momentarily before being cleared. This is because N8N updates the log with each new operation and show only the most recent output. And by adding the wait node, we can observe each item being printed individually, making the loop's behavior more visible. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.